and to click in place all the way up the pillar and eventually all the way down. But first things first, let's lock it in place up above. And I see presences way up there who seem to be they doing? Are they in spaceships? Well, they're in very high floating places that are huge, enormous places where many people live and work. That's true. I see some looses there. I feel the looses mm-hmm. there, some looses. Mm-hmm. Do you know where our loose is? The one we call our loose. They're showing down this hall. That's true. And I uh, tap, tap, tap. It looks like a ship. That's true. And it's a simple room. It's his kind of monk's room look. He does like those real simple spare looks. That's true. What are you doing, Luce? Like trying to like get my head straight, uh, get clear of the true. infection so I don't infect others. Uh, that's not quite it. But it's close yeah. to it. This, um, I think that what you're supposed to do is is do something to help the effort. That's true. We all think that we can't possibly help right now, that we need to recover and that somebody else should do it. That's true. And everybody thinks that, which is statistically impossible. I know that you can do something to help. Are you willing to crank the crank? That's what it is. To do what you can do until you can do more. Do something to help. I think this feeling is I can feel that that thing you just said is totally reasonable and I still don't want to do it, but I know that if I don't do it, I'm going to look crazy because it's so reasonable. Right. I think uh, we're supposed to say, Luce, are you willing to ride shotgun with somebody who needs a co-pilot? He's looking at the picture of whoever it is they're talking about, and it's a, it's probably a related soul of his, That's who's true. probably kind of young, maybe a little bit too young for the assignment. That's true. But nobody else is doing it, so he's stepping up. That's true. And uh, uh, the one we call our loose would be like the seasoned uh, veteran there to provide the good advice to yes. say, okay, well, don't go into that. Uh, you're, you're going to regret that. That's true. Would you be willing to accompany that young relative of yours? He's going straight up. He's got the assignment to continue going straight up the search for true central axis to boldly go where no one has gone before. Uh, they're doing the Star Trek that's thing, true. new lands, new worlds, new explorations, I don't know, but to keep going in the race for a consistent source of significantly higher vibration and to lead the children so that the children aren't leading the rest of us. He's not willing to. No, okay, I don't think so. that's all right. Well, then we'll load some of the children in with this young man and they can be off. That's true. Okay. Our job is to offer and to not get hung up. And if they say no, then they said no. That's That's a no. Move on. That's true. You know what Luce wants? He craves a connection with a consistent source of significantly higher vibration. That's true. Oh, Oh. I, I know what this is. He doesn't want to keep going up. He doesn't think there is one. That's true. I know how you feel. I felt the same way. And what I've found is that that's what comes from thinking too small and having the frame of reference only as the contaminated zone. That's true. And inside the contaminated zone, I completely agree with you, my friend. There is not a consistent source of significantly higher vibration inside the contaminated zone. But that's thinking too small. As soon as we remove those blinders, take 
that frame of reference and pitch it in the somebody saying dust bin I heard that. and then look at the full scheme of things it's extremely obvious that there's a consistent source of significantly higher vibration we just have to get out of the contamination in order to make contact with it that's true and that is the assignment and that's where that spaceship is supposed to be headed for is to that presence that's true would you like to go to where there's a consistent source of significantly higher vibration, which colloquially is referred to as God. He might be going up. He's going up uh, at least a little bit. That's true. The higher he goes, the easier it is for him to think clearly, and That's the true. more likely it is that he'll go even higher. That's true. Okay. Ah, so just as Ra infected many of the upstairs viewers, yes. he certainly has infected our loose. And That's just true. because we've seen loose uh, vomiting it up doesn't mean he's clear of it. That's true. Well, this is an important message. We bring a plant inside and then we bring bugs with it and that's just what we did with Ra, in effect. We brought a plant that's inside true. and we brought bugs with him and now Luz is infected as our thousands or hundreds of thousands or millions. That's true. Let's intend to correct the error uh, that we we made falling into wishful thinking and and letting in somebody who we shouldn't have let in. It was a mistake. That's true. And how do we know it was a mistake? There's been enough hindsight. We've seen enough damage. At the time, it seemed like a good idea. That's true. We just correct these errors. And then watch what happens to our loose. Maybe he'll get better. Maybe. Well, first, let's correct the errors of letting Ra into the search for truth pillar. That's true. At correcting the errors of let putting Ra in positions of responsibility in the search for truth community. Not originally, that wasn't an error, but That's after true. we found him again in Leslie, and we see how we jumped to wishful thinking almost right away. That's true. When Ra woke up and he started off on the right foot, we said, oh, hallelujah, he's back. Thank goodness. Thank God. Thank God. That's true. But he hit the first bump and made a different choice, turned around and went the other way in his thinking, which is what 99.99% of people do, so we're not uh, looking down our nose at him. 99.99% of sentiences do. That's true. So he made the common error. That's true. And so did we. And so did we. And then because we were trusting Ra, other people started to trust Ra. That's true. And we made it a lot worse. I see that now. We made it a lot worse than it needed to be. That's true. If we had been more um, discerning from the start of this most recent... <coughs> Here we go. <coughs> There's the shift. If we had been more discerning from the start of this most recent interaction, this damage probably wouldn't have happened. That's true. Let's correct the errors of falling into the trap of wishful thinking. And to our loose, to say just go at the pace that feels sustainable to you. If you don't want to get in a rocket ship and go that fast, then how about just walking up the stairs? That's true. I think he's doing something. I feel movement up yeah. in a kind of circular way, like yeah. someone going up a spiral staircase. That's how it feels to me, too. Okay.